Today we're talking about Outriders and some of you love it and some of you just absolutely hate it. And today what we're going to do is we're going to figure out why. Now we're just going to go over some pros and cons of the game that I noticed when I was going through it. So I'm just going to give it to you quite quick and dirty here and let's go. The campaign. I mean at least it has a campaign unlike other titles. Um, I'm not going to name any names. That's definitely a pro. You need to drink you stupid bitch. Okay so we got gunplay that's hot. Special abilities that are hot. Enemy and diversity that's hot. Unique environments, hot. And just in case you don't get it, every time I say hot, it means pro. Modding slash crafting system, hot. It's got endgame, but that's not so hot. The only reason why I say it's not so hot is because, well, it seems like in every mission, at least the ones that I've played so far, they have those weird little cutscenes that they have during the campaign, but in the middle of a time-sensitive mission. A time-sensitive mission where the clock is still going while the cutscene is playing. I'm losing sweaty gamer time to some monster wanting to crawl its way onto screen. See that right there? Then there are loot grinding seconds. God. Damn. I don't know whose bright idea it was to just put this in here, but we, it seriously needs to go. This is this is a huge problem. But anyways, rant over. Moving on. Server stability. D major con. Right there. Like, I, I, I don't get it, because it's like, I play this game single player. Like, that's just what I do. I'm a lonely, like, old hermit crab just playing games by myself all the time. But why is it always online, even for people who just want to play by themselves? That makes no sense to me. I don't know why that's a thing, but it, it is. <laughs> Uh, we deal with it. That's the world we live in today, I guess. It, it's dumb. It shouldn't be a thing. Loot. So, loot's kind of a bit of a tease in the beginning. Like, it kind of, like, eggs you on. It's like, okay, I got a little there for you. There you go. You can have a little. Just a little bit. Not so much. Just a little bit. And then by the end of the game, you're literally baptized in the shit. So I'd say loot's a big ol' hot part of the game. The cover system's kind of garbage, to be completely honest with you. Um, I don't even use it. I don't even know why it's in the game. I don't want to be a dick about it, it's just, it's weird. I don't use it, so it's a con for me. Moving on. You know, I'd rather have a jump button. A jump button would work fine. Especially with all the, like, the the gravity leaping and stuff you do as, like, the rock man. It, it's, it's awesome. Moving on. All in all, the game's pretty polished. I've only come across one game-breaking bug. Yeah, I just got stuck in a wall, and then I got killed instantly. Almost. It only ever, only time I ever got really mad. So let's take our final look at the pro and con board, and uh, you guys can decide whether or not these pros and cons actually mean anything to you or not. So I'll be going more in depth into some of these topics with other videos, like the campaign or the end game. There's a lot to talk about with this stuff, and like especially like the modding system. Like it's so so cool, just makes some matching things. I like the game. I think it's cool. Uh, you you decide for yourself. These are just some pros and cons that I made up. So. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching, and subscribe to NerdZoo. Uh, me and my buddy Austin, we're doing this. It's all new to us right now. We're just kind of trying, feeling things out, and doing videos, and we kind of like it. So, if you would show some support, that would be awesome. Take it easy, and see you next time.